Hey, this is Ash from ashparsa.com helping you build a lifestyle business and become financially free. On this video, I'm going to tell you how I closed my first 10K sale on a phone call after I graduated from the Downlog High Ticket Closer HTC program. Uh, I've done a few other videos. If you don't know much about HTC, go check them out. I explain my review about the whole HTC program, what, what it is and why I did it. But on this video, I'm going to focus on that after what happened after graduation. So after I graduated, this was in August, following two months, two months of really being all in. That's one of the things going to happen if you ever consider doing this program. you got to be all in. You know, I, I fully committed myself to master the art of closing. I knew that's going to, even if I'm not going to do it as like a way of, you know, my source of income, that's going to really transform everything for me in my own business, in my own life, because really ultimately it's all about influencing people. It's about communicating and it's about getting what you want. So back to, uh, back to the closing story. So after I graduated from from the dialogue in August, from the High Ticket Closer program, I, uh, one of the first things we start is looking for influencers. And I did start looking for influencers. I, I sent my videos, I applied, I checked who's already in my network. Who do I know? The kind of coaching programs, mentorship programs that I related to. Those are the ones that I wanted to focus on. And also, at the same time, in parallel, I was doing role plays, right? So there's no point talking to influencers before you are ready for it. So I was doing role play after role play. In total, I did 100 hours of role plays, right? 100 hours of role play. This is with other fellow HTC students. We get on the phone any time of the day. We have people around the world online in our platform. Hey, do you want to do a role play? And then either I post as a closer and my fellow brother and sister as a as a prospect or vice versa we switch roles so that constant practicing practicing made me ready so when the time comes I, I I can get on the phone that I'm fully confident and ready for it so going back then I was com sending my sending my uh, my my uh, i was contacting with influencers i was cr i created the list who do i want to contact i reached out to them on facebook on linkedin connected with some but ultimately my first influencer actually came via referral so what i was doing because i'm very much uh, in the mindset of you know putting the work in contributing adding value that's another thing i've learned from my mentor dan Locke. I was doing all those things, I was networking, I was, you know, getting online with our community, with our Facebook, linking up with our people as well. I was talking to people and some of these role plays led to somebody who liked my role play recommended me to one of the team members that worked directly with Dan Locke. And then he reached out to me because I had some background business, uh, business experience that was related the influencer he was working with at the time he reached out to me and said you know this is a role we're looking for an experienced closer and uh, are you interested I said yeah for sure I am let's have a chat and and so that that led to you know we had a chat they said that we're gonna try you out and uh, I had that first went on there had a couple of role plays prepared myself fully the first four calls I had didn't really go that, well, they didn't go bad either, you know. I mean, I was really that was my that was kind of in the working with an influencer and getting on a closing call that was the first experience, so it was interesting, it was a learning curve, and uh, I certainly every every time I did it, I learned something new in a way. It was I was nervous at times, but also at times I surprised myself that this is actually this is actually feels easier than I thought because ultimately I'm there to help people. I'm not there to sell. You know, these are inbound calls. I take the phone call and then I appear as a coach, asking questions, listening to them, and then finding exactly where the need is and then matching our solution to that need. So 
I think it was the fifth close and this actually after I flew to Vancouver to meet Dan Lok. We had an event, HTC event uh, and uh, called CIB. After that event, you know, I came back with increased motivation and inspiration, having met all the people that I've communicated with and met previously. And when I came back with this increased energy and inspiration, that, that's when the first close happened. Yeah, so I went in with conviction and that first close was $10,000. Typically on when it's $10,000 as a close there, we get something between 10 to 15%, sometimes even 20% commission. So that moment, you know, I had prepared myself for four months for that moment. By the way, it took two months after I graduated to get to that close. And just, just going back, picturing that moment, you know, it was a moment of relief. It was a moment of achievement. It was a moment, all the hard work that I put in for four months paid off. And I pictured and visualized this every day. I'm gonna do it. I went in for full conviction. But when it happens, everything is validated. That I knew this is something I can do for sure. It's not a theory anymore. So that's my story. I, uh, if you have any questions, I don't know where you are with your journey. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Also, I put a link down there if you want to find out more about HTC and how it works. There's a free masterclass that uh, Dan Lock runs. So I've got a link down there that you can click and watch that. Or if you have any questions, reach out to me. Happy to answer and uh, help you out in your journey. I love to be able to help people who are where I was just a year ago, two years ago when I was struggling with a business when I left the corporate job and didn't know what to do how to make a living I just couldn't go back to corporate job and uh, so there was lots of struggle and now I'm lucky enough to to be here or be able to work here from home my home office and uh, and uh, make money by making calls and doing the things I enjoy having the conversations and working with people and actually making an impact transforming lives so if you if any of this you have any questions reach out to me and i see you on the next episode